Hello and welcome to High Speed Heroes. Got a short walk around video for today on our 2017 Audi S4 3.0-litre V6 Tiptronic Quattro. It's a stunning example of just two owners from new, 29,000 miles on the clock, a full service history, predominantly being serviced at Audi. I think all bar its latest service have been completed at Audi main dealerships. It's got 11 months MOT and a high specification. As part of our detailed preparation process, we MOT'd the car where it passed with zero advisories, refurbished all four 19-inch alloy wheels, and we've given the car a major paint correction um, comprising of three stages of machine polishing followed by a hybrid ceramic coating. The car is presented in a brilliant black, which is a non-metallic paint that looks absolutely stunning when it's been treated properly. Starting with the high spec now, at the front we've got front parking sensors, LED headlights and daytime running lights, front fog lights, 19 inch alloy wheels, as I mentioned, been freshly refurbished. The black and silver theme I feel looks very tasteful. At the rear we've got quad exit exhaust and the exhaust is valved. We've got rear parking sensors as well. Small ducktail spoiler on the boot there. And as you can see, me awkwardly behind the camera, but paintwork really is in fantastic condition now. Got two keys for the car. And moving inside now, I have to press it twice to unlock all the doors. We've got a full leather cross stitch interior, rear seats in perfect or very close to perfect condition. We've got rear isofix as well, and a center section. Uh, center armrest for your rear passengers and we've also got rear isofix points as well and we've got rear climate control in the center here as well as a 12 volt, volt socket moving to the front cross stitch still with these lovely sport steeds with the S line, S logo uh, embossed there as well. And the front seats are rather special, benefiting from not only being electrically adjusting, heated, but they also have a massaging function, which I'll show you in just a bit. Door cards are rather lovely with this Alcantara midsection. All electric windows all round and we've got heated um, wing mirrors that are electrically operating as well. And just below that, we've got a switch for opening the boot. The LED headlights are fully automatic, as are the windscreen wipers on the stock there. So keyless start, push to button start is just down here. A lovely growl from the supercharged v6 stunning leather flat bottom steering wheel nice concave uh, design to it as well got the s logo at the bottom again and it's multi-function with several buttons on it um, on the left here we can cycle through different displays very nice feature we've got kind of a digital display of the satellite navigation and you can Turn it on to show nothing, or as I said, cycle through Bluetooth uh, and trip computer, etc. We can cycle through several different options here. And then on the right, we've got the volume controls, and then we've got the Bluetooth hands free um, and voice command controls. 
just behind these we've got the flapper paddles for the um triptronic tiptronic uh gearbox and on a stalk to the left we've got the cruise control moving to the clock itself now as you can see 29,100 miles on the clock there and the current in, um, information being shown We've got the driver mode which is changeable using the drive select button here if I show you on the main screen We've got individual which is the fully customizable kind of setting where you can uh, put the engine gearbox steering and engine sound in whatever mode you want it and you've got several options that you can customize uh, to make it how you want and then the other options are dynamic the kind of sportier setting auto which will do its best to change to the way you are driving and then obviously comfort most comfortable setting quiet exhaust etc um, and finally efficiency which um, you can display economy tips or not Moving to the rest of the infotainment system now, as showing here, we've got satellite navigation, nice wide screen, nothing uh, in the way as such, very clear and easy to use. Yeah, I don't think that's a touch screen. Also got um, a nice feature on the car to put input addresses, etc. You can use the scroll wheel here as a kind of a, a trackpad so if I do my best with one hand, I can write an H, H. and it will recognize what I'm writing. Moving on, we've got DAB and FM radio. I've got to turn it down before I get copyrighted. Several sources of media, starting from the top. We've got a, I believe, six disc CD changer in the glove box, along with uh, SD cards and as you can see there is a slot for a sim card which means the car can connect to the internet uh, obviously then CD player USB and aux underneath the armrest which I'll show you shortly and then finally Bluetooth hands-free and audio so under the armrest we've got two USB slots as well as the aux all very clean um, and then finally, just show you the Bluetooth connectivity there. Moving to the climate controls, we've got tri-zone climate control. As I said, there is one in the rear as well. Um, and we've got the heated seat functions on the left and right. As I mentioned earlier, the car also benefits from rather lovely um, electric massaging seats. Which I'm showing you here. We've got three functions, wave, stretch, and knead. I haven't tried them all out, but it's just turned on and it really is very, very comfy and nice indeed. Three levels, you can turn it, um, kind of the, how aggressive it is. Um, but yeah, uh, coupled with the seat heating, it's just incredibly enjoyable. But yes, uh, moving down, got a uh, electric handbrake, and the volume knob here. I believe that is pretty much it for the interior now. So we'll step back outside, I'll show you the boot. If I just put the car in dynamic, you just hear the um, exhaust valves opening up get a nice little pop pop as well really does sound fantastic under load so there's a button on the key to unlock the boot I think it was already unlocked it's currently a cover in but underneath the carpet is in fantastic condition and for us saloon rather sizable boot, very deep. Just noticed locking wheel nut is present as well. So 
So there we go. Overall, 2017, 29,000 miles on the clock, a full service history, two owners, most recently serviced in August 2021. It's got 11 months advisory free MOT, MOT by ourselves. We've also refurbished all four alloy wheels and given the paintwork a good seeing to with three stages of machine polishing. I will reiterate, it really is in fantastic condition. Hopefully you can tell. As I mentioned earlier, two keys for the car. It's HBI clear, all the documents are present and it's ready to be driven away. We can offer competitive rate finance, both PCP and HP, with APRs as low as 6.9%. We're very happy to take apart exchange. And finally, we're offering nationwide delivery to UK mainland, just £1.19 per mile the one way. If you'd like either a quote or any more information on either finance, delivery or the car itself, please do give us a call on 074 79 074 790. Alternatively, head to our website, highspeedheroes.co.uk, where there'll be around 55 high definition photos as well as this video. And from our website, you can reserve the vehicle at the click of a button for just £250. Thank you very much for watching, and hopefully, hear from you soon.